Hi everybody, it's time for our daily affirmation. Today it says, I am financially secure. And on the back it says, remain open and receptive to all the financial opportunities that life has to offer. Trust that all of your financial needs will be met. Prosperity is yours and life is plentiful with everything you need to fulfill your desires at your fingertips. Your hard work has paid off. This is a hard one for me because right now my life is not financially secure and I'm struggling really bad. <laughs> but I have faith that it will work out and that I will be able to get beyond what it is that has been holding me back, that I will be able to course correct some of the bad decisions that I've made that probably led to where I am right now. So that's just another lesson that I need to learn. Um, but hey, it is what it is. There are a lot of people struggling nowadays. There are a lot of people that to hear someone say, my life is financially secure, would literally spit in your face if you said that to them. Because maybe they don't have a roof over their head, or they don't have a job, or they don't know how they're gonna feed the kids tonight because there's no money to buy groceries. Um, there are still a lot of people hurting, not just in the United States, but around the world. There are a lot of people who are operating on less than nothing. And you look around and you see a handful of people who have more than they will ever utilize in their lifetimes more than their family will ever utilize in their lifetimes, going outward several generations. And it can make a person bitter. I've been there. I'm not bitter anymore. Uh, some things happen because of circumstances beyond your control. That happens to all of us. And we learn to suck it up, put on our big boy britches, and deal with it. Some things happen because in the moment we make a wrong decision or we make uh, we take a gamble at something that we think is going to really pay off for us and it doesn't. That happens. What happens when that happens? I'm saying a lot of happens here basically is you again suck it up put on your big boy pants figure it out um, ask for help you know there are people around who if you say I don't know how I'm going to feed my kids tonight they will go buy you groceries now maybe they can't buy you you know a week's worth of groceries but maybe they can get you a couple of days worth, you know? Or I don't have gas in my car to go to job interviews. If you let people know you need that, they will put gas in your car so you can go to job interviews. Um, there are people out in the world who will help if you need help, but you have to let them know it. And the first step to doing that is swallowing your pride and saying, hey, I fucked up, pardon my language, and I need help. And people will reach out and help. There are government agencies that are designed to help. Are they a pain in the ass to, to use? Yeah. Does it require a lot of redundant paperwork? Yeah. But the goal is to do what's right and to help those in need. And so you have to, again, 
suck it up and do the paperwork. Go jump through all the little hoops that you're made to jump through. And it gives you a little bit of relief, at least on the short term, you know. Most of us don't want to live in that type of existence where you're dependent upon everything that you do being being uh, being necessary to live off of that kind of help. That doesn't do any good. But in the short term, it can get you through a rough time, through a rough spot. So don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to let people know, hey, I'm hurting right now, you know? And, and I think you would be amazed at the type of response you get from those around you, especially with those that love you. I mean, those that have known you for a long time. Even if you've consistently, over many, many years, have made bad decisions, have continuously screwed up, you know, um, when you get to the point where it's really sincere that you're asking for help, I think most people can see that and they'll reach out and help. But a lot of it will start with, a lot of it will start with admitting it to yourself. I need help. And to tell yourself and to be grateful for what you don't yet have. That's a hard one for a lot of people. Being grateful for what you don't yet have. But you would be amazed at the doors that will open when you can honestly say to spirit, to source, to God, to whatever it is you believe in. Thank you for providing food. Thank you for providing shelter. Thank you for providing a job. Even though you may not have those things right this second, when you show gratitude for having the abundance, abundance will come to you. I'm living proof of that as well. So, again, in your mind, tell yourself, speak it out loud so sports can, can hear you. Thank you. And I'm grateful. And when you need help, don't be afraid to ask for help. Because help is on the way. It always is. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.